What's up, guys? I'm Maddie Noyes, and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Maddie Noyes. Hi guys! Hello, how are you? I'm lovely, how are you? I'm awesome, just thank you for joining us today. Anytime! So it's a very exciting time for you because Noise Complaint is officially out. It's out and about! Debut I'm so easy. excited, yes! How are you feeling about everything right now? I'm really excited because, you know, I've been working on this pretty much my whole life. And, you know, when you're signed with the label, there's so many steps you have to take and you have to wait so long before you can release your music. So it's just been a work in progress and finally people get to hear it. So I love how there's very a, real, exciting. a real retro flair between the record, right? your clothes. When people ask me, like, what's your sound, I always say retro pop because okay. it's like pop but not pop you know <laughs> do like, that again what is it it's not pop. like pop it's like pop <laughs> <laughs> how did you start integrating that into your sound and your style um you know i listened to a lot of marvin gay growing up a lot of elvis a lot of stuff like that so i kind of took what was old and what i was used to and mixed it with my new current sound yeah i'm really digging in my mind oh thank Debut you it is yeah you're very welcome i love the whole concept about how you're in a relationship with somebody and you love that fact of it but then there's the other side where they have stuff that so really annoying annoys you yeah was that song created out of personal experience every song i write is based on a true story okay yes and they're all completely written by me so you really get to know me through my music very honest <laughs> The video is also very vibrant Thank and fun. Thank you. I felt like they really captured my vibe in the video. So, What was it like being surrounded by all of those gorgeous flowers and being a little seductive? Oh, it's, a oh, seductive it's really nice, honestly. I love <laughs> flowers. Flowers are my everything, so it was great. It was just you sprawled across I know. I was like, this is like a bucket list thing. I just get to lay in flowers <laughs> why people are like videoing me, and I'm just oh, it's feeling it. kind of felt like you were at home in there. Yeah, you were very I felt completely in my aura. It was good. There's definitely bringing that retro vibe into more photos as well. Yeah. Your press photos for this whole run has been so cool. Oh, thank you so much. I like the little triangle tattoo on your ribs that you sport. Yeah, in I actually, I got that when I was 15 years okay. old. My 17-year-old friend from my art class ordered a tattoo gun off the internet. Oh. And I was like, don't tell anyone, let's just do it. I did it where my bra would cover it up on my side so my parents wouldn't see it because they would kill me. And then finally, when I was overseas with my mom in Haiti doing some work there, I was like, okay, we're, we're in another country. You can't kill me I'm just gonna tell you I have a tattoo and she was like oh I can't be mad at you right now but oh <laughs> you know is that the only one you have no okay um I have a dot on my finger that's actually the first tattoo I got see that little dot oh and you even have the ring to cover it up just I do it, yeah that was my first it. one it's kind of like a promise this is um I think this is your ring finger if you get married or whatever so this is a <laughs> promise to myself that I will always love myself first before I can love anyone else I made that up after I got it, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it had to have a purpose. What is an idea for a next tattoo? Have you thought of anything? Oh, uh, yeah, I definitely. I was thinking about getting like a snake wrapped around my finger. Oh, neat. Because I love reptiles. I've had lots of pet snakes and lizards, so yeah. I used to have a snake ring, and anytime you, you know, when oh, you, I know, you those. know when you wear rings and you point to stuff and you just feel like, ooh, look at yeah. that ring. So that'd be really cool yeah. to get that idea. But oh, yeah. Permanent. Exactly. <laughs> permanent ring. I noticed you've been using the hashtag promo life. Quite promo a bit. life. Hashtag promo Someone life. got mad at me for that because they were like, Why? Oh, when you click it, all these pictures of cars come up. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> whatever. Really? Really? That's where they choose to pick a fight? I know. Ah, <laughs> uh, you wouldn't believe the fights that get picked. Tell yeah. me. Yeah, now you have to tell me. So stupid. Just the dumbest stuff all the time. It's like, oh, you did this, you wore that, you blah, 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 blah. What's wrong with your hair here? Why'd you pick that dress? The I'm internet. like, just let me be myself, people. It's not going to change, <laughs> so you might as well give up now. <laughs> Message to the world. Tell me a little bit about hashtag promo life. What have the past couple of days been like for you? Oh my gosh, it's been like a month on the road. Um, stopping everywhere in America. Just came to Canada, Sweden's in a few weeks. And honestly, it's kind of, you're meeting with all these people from radio. And there's so many different personalities. You're going to dinner with them, you're getting to know them. And a lot of them think that you're just going there because you want them to play their song. Of course, that's the purpose, but for me, it's like, I actually love meeting these people, and I love hanging out with them because these are the people that are going to be your long-term family. They're seeing you in the beginning, and they're going to carry you out through your career. They're going to be the ones that always play your songs. They always stick around. It's always the same people. So for me, it's, like, exciting. It's like building relationships with family because I look at that. I look at people like family, you know. I know a lot of people will look at artists like dollar signs, but me, I like to have really close, personal relationships. That's an awesome way to look yeah. at it. That's mm -hmm. one of the first times I've heard an artist actually describe it yeah. that way. Yeah, yeah, you gotta kind of just have fun with it and think of them as friends and treat them like that, you know? 
the other day as part of this whole promo life, you went to do some karaoke. Oh, yeah. You, you saw it, the pics? Oh, yeah. You said this whole pop star thing doesn't oh, work out for me. I can just oh, do Oh, I can so do it. <laughs> I, was, I was laying on the ground, and I was letting my friends sing the verses, and then when the chorus came, I was like, ah. <laughs> you know, I totally did it. Just from photographs, I can tell how lively that whole night was. It was pretty was great. Did. That's kind of my, my favorite thing to do, karaoke. I love it. What is a go-to karaoke song or Strumming my pain with his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Killing me softly. Ooh. And do you have one other one you could demonstrate for us? Oh, yeah, I'm sure I do. I'm trying to think what I did last week that was so... Oh, um... Don't speak. I know oh. just what you're saying. Oh, that one hits Some the Gwen. every time you sing it. I know, right? It was so <laughs> good. Yeah. I noticed you tweet about food quite a bit. I'm a foodie. Me too. Yeah. The other night you even tweeted about how you had a dream about eating potato chips. That was literally my dream. I was just like, <laughs> mm, nom, 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 nom. and then when I woke up for breakfast, guess what I have for breakfast? Potato, potato, potato chips. chips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How long did that dream go on for? Ah, you know, they say dreams only last like seven minutes, but it felt like forever. A good eternity, though. Yeah. You did not want to leave. I didn't. I have a couple <laughs> the of happy place. <laughs> I have a couple of food questions for you. Oh, go for it. All right. So the first one, what makes the best late night snack? Mm, I would say like macaroni and cheese. Ooh, that's a mm-hmm. good one. Yeah, like heat it up. The ones in the freezer, heat it up. Pepper, salt it, lemon <laughs> pepper it. Give it a little bit of flavor out yeah. of the cardboard box. Mm, yeah. <laughs> How about Taco Bell or Chipotle? Um. Oh, it depends on what mood I'm in. Usually I do Taco Bell because I love double, de- double decker tacos and chalupas. But Chipotle, when you want that like big fat. Mm. <laughs> You got to get that burrito. The, mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And how about if you could only have one meal for the rest of your life? What is it? Mashed potatoes. Oh, my gosh. Me too. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Salad. Oh, my gosh. Every time no. I used to go to buffets potatoes. when I was younger, I'd just eat it. Like that'd yeah. be, I'd have dessert and then go back for the mashed potatoes. Potatoes are good for so many things. I have this book called, like, The Ways of the Potato. Okay. And it's, like, tater tots, mashed potatoes, french fries. Like, it's every potatoes. noshi. Like, every little page <laughs> is something different that potatoes can give you. Oh potato God. chips, yeah. That's amazing. It's really good. <laughs> Let's just wrap things up. I want to end things on the fans. Yeah. Anything you want to say to all of them who will be viewing? Let, you know, fans, um, never be afraid to be yourself. Be real with yourself. Be honest with yourself about who you are. You know, I'm out here writing songs about my life and being so honest with you, and I want you to feel like you can be honest with yourself because you're not alone. And know that even though I might have never met you, I love every one of you out there dearly. Beautiful yeah. parting words. Thank Peace you so to the much. world. Spread love. Go hug someone today. Speaking of hugs, thank you so much for doing this. Anytime. Thanks for having me. It's my pleasure. (laughs) And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at Mm musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite artists. See you next time.